In the past couple of weeks, my dropshipping business took a big turn for the better. For the last almost two years since I started dropshipping, I really only found one big true winner. However, a couple of weeks ago, I actually found two potential winning products, which of one is bringing in consistent profits almost every single day. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you the methods which we use to find those two potential winning products. And the methods I'm going to share with you are actually a little bit different than the methods I shared with you in my previous videos. So if you're ready, let's get started. Welcome back guys and for those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Jacob Wikowski and since January 20 and 22 I have been documenting my entire dropshipping journey as a complete newbie on this YouTube channel. I have shown you everything I've been through from the good stuff to the bad stuff everything with 100% transparency. So if you're into dropshipping and you really want to see what it's really like to run dropshipping business, this is the YouTube channel for you. Now, for this video, I'm going to share with you how I found my two recent potential winning products and I guess I can say that one of them is a true winning product because as you can see right here on the screen, today alone, the day is basically just starting and we already are at $200, almost $200 in sales. And in the last seven days, we actually managed to generate three and a half thousand dollars in sales with this product. Now, comparing to my first big winner, it's not a lot because sometimes this is what I made during one single day. However, this is more niched product, so it is a little bit harder to scale with TikTok and we are now waiting for Facebook agency account to be activated so we can try to scale this product on Facebook, which in my opinion, that's where the real money will be made. Nevertheless, Altogether, since we started selling this product in 1st of September, so basically month from now uh, or month ago, we generated almost $14,000 in sales. Now, if you take a look at my spreadsheet where I track proper profits, you know, everything, all the money that, that we're spending and bringing into the business. For example, this month alone, October, 1st of October, we generated $375 in profit. A day later, 101. Then yesterday, only $46 in profit. But today, we've changed a few things. And again, it's only the beginning of the day. We're already at 60, almost $7 in profit with 34% profit margin. This month alone, which it only has started, but on average, we have almost 29% um, profit margins, which is not bad at all, in my opinion. Now, we started running ads for this product last month. So last month was all over the place, up and down. We went from having 48% profit margins to losing money and up and down. However, it's worth to say that we were testing many different things from different prices to different video as different strategies, everything else. October seems to be more stable if I look at the last four days. So let's see where this is going to take us, um, you know, in the next couple of weeks. Weeks. But now that we have all of this out of the way, let's talk about how we found this and the other product I was talking about. Um, now, when it comes to the second potential winning product, um, we are right now not running ads for that product simply because when we first started running ads for that product, we were making um, profits and losing money at the same time. So basically, we ended up most of the time breaking even. So we then ordered UGC content, which is basically user generated content. So we sent this product to video creator who was supposed to shoot an ad for us. And that's exactly what happened. We very recently received the video ads and we're now testing those ads. But for the past couple of days, it didn't really perform that well. So we're now thinking of what we should do next with this product. However, like I said, the big winner that we actually, that actually is bringing in money is still doing well. So let's see where we can take it in the next couple of weeks. So again, let's talk about how we found those products. And I need to put a 
disclaimer here that first product I was talking about, so the one that was breaking even, Martin, which is basically one of my team members, found this product and he started working with me on trying to bring this product to profit. And while we're on the topic of my team and people who are helping me to run my dropshipping business, I would highly recommend that you join our Discord community where basically myself and Martin, his nickname is Thenom, we're helping members in this community to basically take their dropshipping businesses to the next level as well. Now, I always say that I'm not an expert in dropshipping, I don't consider myself a guru, but in the last two years I actually have been through a lot of ups and downs and I've experienced a lot when it comes to running dropshipping business. So there is quite a bit of stuff where myself or Phenom can help you with when it comes to trying to succeed with dropshipping. Now in this uh, Discord community, you get access to not only to us, where we will answer any of your questions and interact with you, but you also get access to monthly giveaways where I'm giving away $100 every single month to one lucky member, just for the good start of dropshipping. And there's a Q&A tab where you can literally post your question. If it's more complicated question, you can post it there and one of us will answer your question either in a text format or sometimes I'm making video answers just like this one for example to explain my point of view in more details. You also get access to my TikTok agency account which is basically free of charge. You don't have to pay any monthly fees to get TikTok agency ad account. You get access to my private supplier and um, different web design tips and how to create very good stores. Shopify themes so you can with a click of the button install different Shopify themes and have the entire store ready. You get this spreadsheet that you see right here. It is inside of the Discord community as well. You get many different um, tutorials on how to find winning products, how to create video ads and again most importantly, you get access to us where we can answer any questions that you have. And as a bonus, you get access to a course about freelancing, which I recorded earlier this year for few selected people. And in this course, I'm teaching you or showing you step by step how I created my freelancing business from scratch. This is how I started making money online and this is what allowed me to actually later on reinvest my money into drop shipping. So if you would like to get access to this community, be part of it, there's a link in the description of this video. But now let's keep going with the research part of this video. So first of all, whereas previously in this video right here, the most logical product research method video, which I released two months ago, I would give you access to a spreadsheet where you do a proper product research and then proper product validation before you start spending money um, on testing products. And I would still say that this video is valid. And if I was you, I would watch this video as well, because what you're going to find out is that there is no one true, you know, definite method of finding winning products. Everything you find online is a combination of ideas of how to find potential products that could do well. But none of those methods will actually guarantee you finding a winner, you know, 100% of the times. That being said, what, the more knowledge you have, the easier it is going to be for you to spot those potential winning products. So that's why I really recommend that you watch both of the videos and try to draw as many conclusions as possible. Now, first step of the method that I'm going to share with you right here is that instead of focusing on finding a winning product, what we do with this method is we're trying to find a winning audience. And here's the idea behind it. When I found my first winning product, which was a pheromones perfume, which I, by the way, still have on my back shelf, and I've shown it uh, multiple times in my recent videos. When I found this pheromones perfume, it wasn't a perfume that everyone else was selling online. The way I found this perfume, and this perfume alone generated $192,000 in sales, the way I found it was simply by looking through different product research softwares. At this point, it was Ecom Hand, as far as I remember. And I have realized that there is a lot of dropshippers selling 
pheromones oil at the time and making really good money with pheromones oil. So because at the time I was using CJ dropshipping to fulfill my orders, I went to CJ Dropshipping to see if I can find the exact same pheromones oil to try and sell it as well and see if I can make some profits. Unfortunately, or fortunately for me at the time, this pheromone oil was not inside CJ Dropshipping. However, I did find pheromones perfume instead. So at the time, I didn't really gave this too much thought. All I did was, I thought to myself, you know what, since I can't find the exact same oil, let's see if I can sell this perfume. Now, this was the very first time that someone tried to sell this exact perfume online. I couldn't even find any content regarding the perfume I was selling online. So, when I ordered video ads, the guy who was creating my video ads had to find different scenes online that related to perfumes and basically, you know, showcasing couples hugging and being in love and stuff like that. And in between those scenes, we couldn't really show real person holding the perfume I was selling. So instead, we had to basically quickly show an image of the perfume I was selling and then move on to the next scene. I was the very first person selling that product and this product did crazy amount of sales at the very beginning. The first two months I was selling this product, I was making close to $10,000 in profit. And in November alone, I made over $12,000 in profit with this one single product. Unfortunately, later on, as you all know, a lot of people jumped on the same perfume and it quickly died. But the point I'm trying to make here is that I believe that the reason this product did so well is because I didn't focus on selling the exact product that all other dropshippers are selling. Instead, I sold different product to the same audience. And here's my idea behind it. I think that if there is a dropshipper right now who's making really good money with a certain type product that solves certain problem. So for example, say that there is now dropshipper selling back a supporting belt for back pain, right? Just as an example. Now, instead of jumping on the exact same product and trying to sell the exact same product, what you should do, or what you could do, should I say, is think to yourself, okay, I can see that this dropshipper is making really good money selling product that helps people to get rid of the back pain, right? Which means there is big pool of audience, big market, of people who have back pain who are willing to spend money to fix this issue for them. So what you could do now is instead of jump on the same product, you could go to AliExpress and basically try to find different products that help to solve back pain and try to sell those products to the same audience. Because right now you already have a proven audience, audience that is willing to spend money online to solve their problem. Your job now is to find very attractive product. And when I say very attractive, this product needs to be visually appealing, right? So when people see it, they feel like, you know, this is good quality product and it really looks like it could solve their problem. So you need to find this type of product, which isn't easy, by the way. I want you to understand it's not easy. You might need to scroll and scroll and scroll until you find something that pops. But once you find it, then try to promote that product to the exact same audience. So now that we have that cleared, you understand the idea behind this strategy. Let me try to put it into action. Now, first of all, what you need to do is to find that winning audience. How do you do that? Well, there's a couple of ways you can do that. In my case, I usually use two different softwares in combination, which helps me to validate if there is an audience for a certain product. So the first tool I use is Mynia. And Mynia is basically um, a tool that helps you to find all of the different ads currently run on Facebook and TikTok from, from different dropshippers, right? And then you can sort those ads based on likes and shares to see 
which one of those ads is getting the most traction. And then once you find the product or, or the ad that is promoting certain product and is doing very well, then you can investigate further using Shop Hunter. And Shop Hunter basically helps you to find what revenue or how much in sales is certain store generating every single day. So let me show you an example. And by the way, you can find the link to Mania and Shop Hunter in the description of this video. You can get started with free trials with both both of the softwares so it's really useful to get started now those links are affiliated links so it's completely up to you if you use them or not I'm going to get some reward if you use my links and this is how I can basically reward myself for making those videos for you guys but it's completely up to you so let's keep going now the first thing that I would do is uh, after I log into Mania I click on Facebook ads and here in this little search bar you can basically um, s sort through many different ads. What I like to do is to make sure that I select the ads that have been run in the last week. So basically, let's say from the 27th of September till today. In the countries like, for example, US, US is the biggest market. So sometimes I like to look at um, products that are being sold in the US because then what I can do is take the same product and bring it to different markets like Australia, Canada, and so on and on, and maybe UK. So then in the language, I make sure that I select English because a lot, oftentimes people are run ads in different languages, even though they are targeting US. Then Ecom platform, I always do Shopify. Likes, I like to look at the ads that have at least 500 uh, likes, but sometimes play around with it because you might find, you know, uh, fresh products that only have like 100 likes, but you can see that the, the like spike was like during the last one day or something like that, right? So seen between this date and then what I would do is um, creation date, I would go with the last three months. So let's say since July all the way till today right so this way you're going to see ads that are only run to Shopify store that were created in the last three months but were still visible still running in the last week right now you can you could choose call to action shop now I don't like to touch that so I'm gonna leave that on one last thing is the video type or media type I like to select video uh, I, I prefer to look at the video ads to be honest with you so once I have all of that done, then I'm going to sort those ads um, with likes. So basically at the very top, I'm going to see the most liked videos and most liked ads quickly helping me to identify winning products, thus identify winning audiences. Okay, so this is a Calmer earplug. I've seen that product before and I think that this product is was doing pretty well. It helps you to calm down, to uh, restrict the sounds from all around you, but let's try to find a different product. Oh, this is cool, right? Pets. Uh, Pets niche is is doing apparently really really good So it's a good niche to target and in the last 86 days since they uh, were running at this ad They had 10k shares 8,000 comments So from here since I found the product that I want to investigate I would click on this Facebook icon and it's going to open up the exact ad in the separate tab Looks like they are no longer running ad for this product, maybe because Facebook banned them. It, it, sometimes it happens. Uh, so I'm just gonna skip that one and continue going. So let's see what else we can find. Oh, for example, this camera. And fact is about this camera, like I would say 14, 15 months ago, I tried to sell this camera on Facebook and it did pick up very well at the very beginning, but literally day two of or three running this ad, Facebook shut down my account and I just moved on from this product. But I did sell, literally from day one, I did generate sales, profitable sales for that product. So I don't know how about now, because it's been some time since uh, when I found this product, but let's investigate it now. So for example, um, again, we're opening this video ad in a separate tab. And what I'm going to do now is investigate it. The first thing I want to see is, are there people commenting under this ad right now, today? Not yesterday, not a week ago, but like today, a couple of hours ago, a couple of minutes ago, to see if, they, if there's still interest. And as you can see, 
there is a lot of very recent comments. Are they waterproof? You know, tagging other people. What's the distance uh, in this? Uh, this will transmit. So people are asking a lot of questions regarding this product, expressing interest in this product, right? So as you can see, seven hours ago, 13, 14, 14, 21 hours ago, and so on and so on and so on. So that already tells me there's an interest in this product. The next thing that I would do, so this is, this checks one mark for me. The next thing I would do is I would go to the shop. I would grab the link of that shop, copy it, then go to shop hunter and then paste it here um, basically by going to my shop hunter and add store and it's going to analyze the store to see how much in sales this store is making so as you can see for example last day they made two thousand dollars in sales in the last week they made seven thousand dollars in sales and in the last month they made thirty seven thousand dollars in sales and as you can see it is continuous consistently up and down but they are making on average one and half between one to one and a half thousand dollars in sales every single day so again this gives me an indication that there is audience for um for outside cameras security cameras right now this uh, ad or this product has a wow factor because it's very easy to use right you only you, you screw it to basically like a light bulb basically so it's very easy to use so the next thing I would do is I would go to AliExpress and I would type in outside CCTV and see if I can find better, newer variation of this product, right? So something equally easy to use, which you just screw or you just attach to the wall and, and that, that is very, very easy to use, but something that is different than the one that you see right here. Another thing you could do is if you have a private supplier, you could ask your private supplier if they could find newer version of this product, right? So again, maybe something that easily attaches to the to the outside walls, to, to the outside walls of the building. So you don't have to drill or anything. So people don't have to unscrew their light bulbs to screw this camera in. Or even better idea, because when I went through some of the comments right here i've seen people commenting saying that okay so i'm gonna unscrew my light bulb and screw this camera and then when it's dark i'm not gonna see anything right so maybe there is similar camera that helps you to basically attach the camera to the light bulb but also has a separate outlet or separate socket where you can also screw light bulb. So you would have basically like a, a light bulb and camera screwed at the same time. I don't know, but see what I'm where I'm going with this? So try to find similar products and get those products on the market. This is how you find products that no one else is selling yet and you can basically be the very first person to bring them on the market and really get those juicy uh, profits. Now, one last bonus tip for you guys before I let you go to use on AliExpress is um, a plugin called Ali Insider. Ali Insider. I never remember what it's called. So when you lose use Ali Insider, you can actually see how many sale, monthly sales and how much revenue given product on AliExpress is generating on AliExpress every single month. So for example, this camera is uh, only selling um, about 138 sales every single month. Now, when I was selling my winning product, I was making close to 100 sales a day sometimes. So I would definitely want to see this number at you know, closer to a thousand and hundreds, but that's also a good indicator that this might be a product that people are potentially interested in, right? So hopefully that makes sense, guys. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below. Again, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be releasing a lot more videos just like this one. And if you're really serious about dropshipping and you want to take your business to the next level, then consider joining our community where there are a lot of like-minded dropshippers trying to help each other to move forward. But for now, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.